Welcome to this Math OD1 video. In our previous video, we defined slope and determined whether the slope of a graph line was positive, negative, zero, or undefined. In this video, we will learn how to determine the slope of a line given its graph. So let's get started. If we have a graph, what we need to do is to choose two points on the line. Any two points will do. Then we determine the rise and run by counting the units on the graph. Remember, the definition of slope that we have is rise over run. This diagram explains it a little bit more thoroughly. However, it does say to identify two points on the line. It suggests that we start at the leftmost point. It actually doesn't matter if you start at the first point, the left point, or the right point. It really doesn't matter. Okay, and as I go through and do some examples, you'll see um, that either way you do it, you're going to get the same slope. So um, remember that if we're going in the upwards direction, that's going to give you a positive number. If you move in the downwards direction, that gives you a negative number. And of course, this is for the rise or for the change in y. If you are looking at the change in x, we consider moving to the right positive direction and moving to the left a negative direction. So let's do a few examples. So in this first problem, we can see that points A and points B uh, have already been labeled for us. So let's jog our memory. Again, we know that slope is rise over run, or it's the change in our y value over the change in the x value. So as I go from A to B, what is the change in my y value or my vertical change? Well, hopefully you can see that it is positive two units. In other words, I'm moving two units up. What is my horizontal change? Well, my change in x is plus one unit. So we need to put all that information together. The change in y, again, is positive two units. The change in x is positive one. Two over one is just two. So we can just say that our slope is two. And that's the answer. Now, remember I said earlier that it doesn't matter if you go from A to B or B to A. So let's rework this exact same problem and start at B and go to A. So if I start at B, then I would go down two units. So my change in Y would be negative two. Then to get to A, I would also have to go left one unit. So my change in x would be negative 1. Now you might be thinking, yeah, well, those are different numbers. That's true. But let's see what happens when we build our new slope. So our new slope is going to be negative 2 over negative 1. Well, what happens when we divide a negative by a negative? That's right, it becomes positive. So even if I start at b and I move to a, I still end up with the exact same slope. My only advice is make sure you watch your signs and don't make any sign errors. Let's go to the next problem. This time we have an A and a B. And so remember our definition of slope is the change of in Y over the change in X. So let's see what our change in Y is. So to get from here to here, we need to go down how many units? Well, one, two, three, four. So our change in y is minus four. How about our change in x? Well, let's see. We need to go over one, two, three units to the right. So our change in x is positive three. Let's put that information together. Again, our delta y is negative four. Our delta x is positive three. And we can't reduce that anymore. So we just write that our slope is negative four thirds. Let's do a few more examples. What about this line? As you can see, none of the points have been labeled yet. So you can do one of two things. One thing that you could do is you could just be thinking to yourself, hey, wait a minute, this is a vertical line. And you could remind yourself, well, there's no way to uh, climb a vertical line right? This person is kind of stuck down here. So you could just remember that the slope of a vertical line 
is undefined. Okay? The other way to do it, the other way to think about it, is if you randomly pick two points, let's see. Well, the change in y, for example here, delta y is equal to 3. But what's our change in x? Well, oops, sorry. Our change in x doesn't exist at all. Our delta x is 0. So when we try to go and build and assemble our slope, we have delta y over delta x is equal to 3 over 0. And we can't divide by 0. So by definition, 3 divided by 0 is undefined. All right, let's take this last example here. So um, one way to do it is to say, hey, wait a minute, we have a horizontal line. And you could remember that the slope of a horizontal line is always 0. And that's absolutely valid. Another way to do it is just to pick two random points here. And we'll call them A and B. And you could say to yourself, well, the change in X from here to here is 2. And then the change in Y, well, there isn't any change in Y. Delta Y is actually equal to 0. So then when you would go to build your slope, you would have 0 over 2, which is just 0. So again, with these sorts of problems, you have two options. One option is to remember that the slope of a vertical line is undefined and the slope of a horizontal line is zero. And the other way is to actually build your slope with a delta x and a delta y, put them together, and then numerically you can see, remember when you divide by zero, your answer is undefined. And when you have zero in the numerator, then your answer is zero.